Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video, the third in a series on hybrid containment. Vladimir Putin didn't invent offshore corporations, shell companies, or money laundering, but he sure is using all of them to advance Russia's revanchist goals. He didn't invent graft and corruption, but he's instrumentalized and weaponized it to establish networks of influence. The Kremlin didn't create the polarization currently plaguing Western politics and society, but it sure is exploiting it. If we're going to be able to resist Putin's non-kinetic assault on the West and hybrid war on the West, the first thing we need to do is take a good hard look at ourselves and our institutions. Resilience at home is a key component of hybrid containment. And resilience means treating corruption like a national security issue. It means considering laundering the Kremlin's dirty money as a form of espionage. It means recognizing that weak regulations open the door to Kremlin mischief. It means reducing Europe's dependence on hydrocarbon imports from Russia. It means addressing the excessive partisanship and polarization that have provided the Kremlin with an opening to divide and confuse us. And it means giving the disenfranchised, those that feel left behind by globalization and are easy prey for Putin's propaganda machine, a stake in the system. Because the Putin regime is effectively holding up a magnifying glass to our own weaknesses and shortcomings, and the good news here is this is something we can address ourselves. Let us know what you think on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and this was a Vertical Video.